Live with breaking news, this is ABC 27 News at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm James Crum. We begin with that breaking news. The PA Supreme Court has just chosen a new map for Pennsylvania's congressional districts. Dennis Owens is here to break it all down for us. Dennis. <laughs> James, let's get right to business. We needed a quick ruling and we got it. Here's the map the court has, has chosen by a four to three vote. Now it's five to two Democrat. It was a four to three vote. So some Democrat, we presume, crossed over. But this is the so-called Carter map proposed by a group of liberal leaning voters. Let's take a closer look. Of course, the biggest change here is 17 congressional districts instead of 18. We lost one seat in the U.S. House based on the 2020 census. In our area, not much will change from the current maps. The biggest shift, some Cumberland County voters currently in the 13th district will move into Scott Perry's 10th, which includes all of Dauphin County, along with the West Shore communities of Cumberland and York counties. The 9th district, which includes Lebanon County, does not change. The 11th district, which includes most of York County and all of Lancaster County, shifts, shifts only slightly. And now that they've picked a map, the Supreme Court also says our primary elections will happen as scheduled on May 17th. It did adjust procedural deadlines for things like circulating and filing petitions and mailing absentee ballots to service members overseas. James, a lot to sort through here. Plenty of people will have plenty to say about it. I'm heading out to work the phones and get that reaction. We will put the map on our website, abc27.com, so you can take a closer look. The big headline, too, for Republicans, Glenn Thompson and Fred Keller, two Republican incumbent congressmen, will have to battle it out. They're now both in the same district, so that's where that seat was lost. James, that's the story for now. I got to run. Let me go do that. I, before you run, I do have <laughs> one question. You may not know the answer to this, but last night we reported on this, and we talked about it this morning again, that there were some who were proposing that everyone should vote for these congressional districts this time around since yeah. this map was being up in the air. And that lawsuit was a federal lawsuit saying the Pennsylvania Supreme Court does not have the power to do it. It should be tossed. I'm told by legal people that that is a real long shot argument. But that argument is still there. They mm -hmm. did file a suit, so that's still hanging over uh, everything as well. And also, we still have to figure out state house and Senate maps. Those deadlines for filing petitions have been put on hold as of today. Yeah, okay, so, a lot to sort through. Yes, there is. I know you're very <laughs> but busy. But we have congressional maps. That's one thing. The big headline, Dennis. Yeah. Thank you very much right. for that.